bottom line for public schools, uh, teachers, you know, for students in the classroom and for parents that are wondering, uh, the, the state equalization guarantee or the general fund cut was about, uh, the net cut was about 1%. So I think as terms of kids in the classroom, they probably won't notice a discernible difference. Probably um, teachers uh, might notice it more in terms of maybe professional development cuts. Um, it could be, you know, training, those kinds of things. Smaller school districts may notice it a little bit more. There was a $3 million emergency supplemental funding that was made available uh, to help support those smaller districts. And the impact on the uh, Department of Public Education. The Department of Public Education, we ourselves saw about a 3% cut, and all our employees will be facing a five-day furlough. And so how will you be able to absorb that and continue to Well, operate? you know, we just have had look at our vacancy savings, not filling vacancies, and really cutting back. Um, we sort of prioritized what we need in terms of financial services. Um, that was a first priority. Accountability was a second priority. So we just had to look at how do we prioritize the services and compliance needs that we need for the, for the districts. And I guess the bigger question is, what will you be doing as the secretary to interact with lawmakers between now and January? Well, we have interim meetings with the Legislative Education Study Committee and Legislative Finance Committee, and I'm sure that we will continue to have these discussions about, you know, if we do have to cut, what are the priority areas that we want to keep intact? And so, you know, there are those discussions going on about maybe tapping some of the uh, state's permanent fund. Those are lands that are um, dedicated to generating revenues for schools. You know, you're the education secretary. Is that a bad idea? Well, you know, um, I, I'm the education ser secretary, but I'm not an economist. So, you know, I really don't know what the impact would be for future generations in terms of tapping into that fund. At this point, I know the governor is convening a committee to look at revenue enhancements. And uh, that part of it, I think, is best left to the experts in, in that area.